and now we're going to learn how to make a quick dress pattern. Okay, using a piece of folded paper towel, okay, I'm going to use the actual doll to get the measurements from. Okay, let's see if I can put this so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to put the top of the paper towel around her shoulder and mark where the neck is. I like to mark right underneath the bust line and also where the paper towel meets the floor, so to speak. Okay, and I'm also going to mark the side of the torso and also the circumference, how I want the dress to encircle the doll. So with these few marks, I'm going to make the first pattern piece. I'm just going to connect the dots, so to speak. and make the bottom a little bit rounded just like a regular dress pattern would be okay so this is going to be our first cut Cut out the neckline. All right, open it up, and we're going to fit it onto the doll. And as you can see, the uh, sleeve area is way too big. So again, I'm going to make two little lines with my little pen, if I can find it. Here it is. Just mark where the shoulders begin, and we're going to trim that down. I like to draw it in so I don't get carried away. Okay, so. Okay, that's more like it. Now it's still way too long, but that's okay. I don't like to cut the bottom until. I'm actually working with the fabric because I don't know how it's going to drape. I never want to cut it too short. Okay, so now we're going to make the back. So taking another folded piece of paper towel, I'm going to make the back right from this front piece. It's going to be almost a duplicate except the back neckline is going to be much higher. So I'm just going to trace around the front and that will give me a nice back. And I like to put back on it so I don't get mixed up. just to measure it to see if it fits, which it does. And I cut down the tops here. The last pattern piece I'm going to make is for the inner dress. Now because I don't want too much bulk underneath the kimono, I'm just going to make a faux dress, a faux underdress. So I just want a little bit that will look like she has on a dress. So I'm going to take that piece right from this front bodice piece. Okay. 
just trim it off, trim it down. And the neckline's a little bit too high, so we'll just take off a little bit more so she can show a little bit more skin, so to speak. That's much better. Okay, so now I'm ready to start making my dress pieces. On this piece, I'm going to actually cut off the bottom. I want the clogs to show, so I want it to be a little short. Now here's a package of handkerchiefs I got at Walmart. They're pretty inexpensive. And this is uh, iron-on transfer sheets. I got it off as Depot. I got a, um, an Asian print, and using a photo program, I just printed them out to make sort of a fabric. I'll put this aside. We're going to make the faux white inner dress first. So opening up one of the handkerchiefs, I'm going to lay my pattern piece down. I want to use the rolled edge of the handkerchief to be the hem of the inner dress. So I'm just going to trace it right on to the handkerchief and cut it out. It's real easy and, it's, and using the rolled edge as your hem, it couldn't be easier. And now using a nonstick piece of paper and my liquid polymer clay, I'm going to drizzle the polymer clay onto the inside of the inner dress. I'm going to put most of it up by the torso area because that's where I want it to actually attach to the body underneath. You can put a little bit at the bottom if you want to give it some draping lines. And just sort of spread it out evenly. Like I said, mostly at the top. It's a little messy here. Okay. Now, you're going to just lay the dress on and attach it. It's a little bit wet with the polymer clay and it should stick pretty well. You can cinch it a little bit around the waist. I'm going to put a little dab more on the shoulder area so that it attaches nicely so it doesn't come away from the body. And at this point she's going to be ready again for the oven. So I'll put her in her aluminum pan and she'll go into the oven and we'll bake again for five minutes at 250 degrees. And now we're going to learn how to do the photo transfer to make the fabric.